Let me share my secret with you on how to grow crispy lettuce. This is the question I will get often from people and they will ask why their lettuce isn't crispy. And it has to do with the varieties of lettuce you're growing. We're used to a couple of different varieties at the grocery store, but when we start to grow our own, there is an endless list of different varieties you can choose from. Let me show you a few and talk about the differences in taste and texture. This right here is leaf lettuce and so leaf lettuce or loose leaf lettuce there's a ton of different varieties in this family but this one you, you're going to tend to find ones that are shaped more like an oak leaf and they're softer they're not the softest lettuce you can buy and they can have a crispier rib to them which can add a crunch to your salad but these are not typically a super crunchy lettuce they're a leaf lettuce has amazing flavor and amazing texture but if you're going for super crispy this is not the one this right here is a baby green bundle and it's got a lot of different varieties of lettuce in it. So I wanted to show you this one. This right here is a softer lettuce. This is a little gem. It's actually in the romaine family. But if you want to have a crispy little gem romaine, then you need to plant one seed and let it go to maturity. So it produces that nice firm romaine crunch that we're used to. This is also a romaine leaf right here. When we grow them more than one seed, you're just gonna get the leaves and the leaves are going to have a wide variety of textures depending on the romaine. This one's super soft, almost like a bib lettuce in my opinion, makes great wraps. This one's a little bit firmer, but again, you're not gonna get that super crispy romaine that we're used to from the grocery store unless you plant one seed and allow it to go to maturity. We also have some more leaf lettuce in here. This is just a blend of all sorts of amazing lettuces. That's another trick. You can plant a variety of different colors and textures, which can make your salads taste amazing. This right here is a Salanova lettuce. These come from Johnny Seeds. One seed of a Salanova, instead of producing a head of lettuce, they produce a ton of little greens in one seed. So, the, so it looks like I have a bunch of baby greens here, but really I only have two plants. And so when you cut a Salanova, what happens is you get all these baby greens off of one head of lettuce. So it grows a little bit different. Now the benefit there is that baby greens are not mature typically, so they lack a little bit of flavor and they are softer. Baby lettuce is a softer lettuce. When we grow a Salanova, that's not the case. These are more mature, they just never grow big leaves. They only grow these baby green sized leaves. This is another Salanova and the same thing. We have two heads of lettuce here versus these. These are multi-seeded with as many as 30 to 50 seeds to get all these baby greens because every seed, we're only getting one or two leaves from them. When I'm growing the Salanova, I only need two seeds to get all these baby greens. And isn't that gorgeous? This is a red butter crunch. If you like super crispy greens and you live in a hot region, another hack is to grow endive. This is one endive seed. It's gonna grow all those small leaves, just like our Salanova, but these are gonna taste a little bit different. These are definitely firmer, much crispier, and a much denser green. They're just excellent to grow, to add a lot of flavor and texture to a salad, especially if you wanna dress it and allow it to sit for a while. These aren't gonna get soggy on you. They're gonna hold shape for a really long time. So definitely grow these. These are amazing. This is also one of the few plants I will actually cut and come again with, where you take some of it and let the rest keep growing. They handle that really well. This is a bib lettuce. Bib lettuce is gonna be the softest out of all your lettuce, especially as baby greens. As baby greens are just super, super soft and floppy. As they mature, you can get a head from this, which has a nice texture, but it can take a really long time. So if you don't love soft greens, bib lettuce is not the one to grow. And the last one here is a crispini. This is in the iceberg family. We're all familiar with iceberg lettuce. I heavily seed these. I will put a third of a one-fourth teaspoon of seeds 
into each rock wool. And these just give me a nice bundle of super crispy iceberg greens to add to our salad to give it some extra crunch. If you like crunchy lettuce, this is an excellent blend. And the larger you let them grow, the more crispier they'll be. And my final thoughts on growing lettuce. First off, do it. Lettuce at the grocery store, lacking in nutrients, high risk of pesticides, high risk of biological contaminants that can make you sick. And it's so easy to grow and it's so wonderful to come and harvest and put fresh lettuce on the table. The other thing, just remember, if you want baby greens, plant a lot of seeds or go with a salanova. If you want a head of lettuce, you need to plant one seed per rock wool and plant them towards the top. Lettuce grown at the top of the tower makes beautiful, gigantic heads of lettuce and will grow a lot faster. I hope these tips empower you to grow your own lettuce grab a tower and now it's time for dinner.